I've been working to uh, revitalize this ancient city, and it's been going okay. It's time to start bringing in some greenery and maybe do something about this road system that leads up to what will be my actual base and the portal and all that fun stuff. So let's start bringing some of this area to life. So I've been looking at this and this central road here is staying. I want to bring in some guard areas, but I'm thinking what or wondering maybe what to do here in the center spot between this walkway and whatever is going over here, like where these pillars are. I'm still knocking around some ideas, but I think I'm also going to knock around these, these pillars. They're in the way, and I think I'm just gonna tear them down. And I might rebuild something in their stead, but for now, I think they need to go. Well, the pillars are gone and that's a good thing. And you can see we've got definitely have some space here. So I think I've got a couple of things I wanna look at. I wanna look at basically three sections. This section here where the pillars were, and you can see there's sort of defined paths. I think that's going to be, I'm gonna whip out some moss and turn that into grassy, happy green, Bay, all that fun stuff, right? Words that, that mean things, that's gonna happen there. The central thing's gonna stay road. And then these gaps here, I definitely wanna put in something that would maybe not be walkable space. And I'm kind of leaning towards water and making that ponds and rivers and things. So I think, uh, I, I'm not sure if what, what are, I don't know how words work. I'm not sure where I want to start, but I think, I think if I start with the rivers, that'll make then shaping the rest of this stuff a little bit easier. So it's time to remove some skulk and maybe start thinking about water and all that good stuff. I, th I think this will work. I do like having the skulk underneath the water. It gives it a little bit of a nice sparkly goodness going on here. Um, I tried lighting up the outside with glow lichen it adds a little bit of light but the whole area is so dark right now that it doesn't help anything and since i'm going to be adding a lot of light here anyway we'll kind of see and at some point in the future that i may go get uh, uh, some uh, sea lanterns and try to make that work but for now i think the water is a good choice though i may want to do something right along that line get some more basalt or something and make that far side match. But for now, I think it's okay. So what I'm gonna do now is then fill in water, basically in all of these low lying areas between the highway there and this sort of raised garden path. So lots of splashy splashy, but I think this is gonna work out. I think it's gonna work out nicely. Um, and there may be some places where I want to add some more bridges. Obviously these I want to continue across, I think. I just continue using the roadways that they, that exist already. I, I think that's going to make a lot more sense just as I revitalize the city. The water going in has been great. It said it looks, it looks good and it's going to look even better once I've got more stuff going on. This side is just a little bit weird. So this looks like 
there were walls and it's crumbling, right? You can see the wall underneath, which means something else. We've got this path that then leads out to ground level area out here. And I don't want to go flood this whole area, right? So what I'm going to do is we'll fill in some skulk here. And I think, I think what I'll do is let's stop this. I mean, I'll just run that straight across and that will be the definition of this pond here. Okay, and that should probably work. So, yeah, I think that's gonna, that'll work out okay. And then I just need to figure out what happens with this road. Cause obviously this is a defined road, right? That's what all this wool is. Well, it's coming right up to a wall that isn't going anywhere, right? It's this outer wall that's going to be my storage area. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but you know, we'll see that like so many things, that's a problem for future me. So I was just looking over this and I, I like this raised area here. This is okay. I'd like to continue it this way, but the way I built this building, I'd really like to show off this greenery down here and make it part of whatever is happening over here. So I'm gonna cut this side down so it's all down to this level. Now, this is actually lower even than this uh, road bed. So I may do a, a little bit of shaping. I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of shaping of some sort. But I think I'll cut this back to here so it lines up with this, this bridge. And then we'll start looking at what is going to happen with greenery in the area. I've stripped out a lot of the skulk. I actually need to remove a bit more here, but I'm gonna drop in some moss. Now, the nice thing about the moss, uh, make sure I'm using a hoe here. The nice thing about the moss is that it's really easy to cover with some moss carpet, just add in-floor lighting, which is, like I said, I'm trying to light up this cave, so that's gonna be great. But this is gonna be it the foundation now for um, all of the paths and, uh, you know, just the greenery here. And I think what I'm going to do, right, I took out all the pillars at the beginning of this mess. I said some custom trees coming through here. I think that's all going to look really nice. So uh, let's place a lot of blocks. Already, this area is looking more alive with the, the moss in place. Now there are a few places like right here, I need to figure out some stairs and things, but otherwise it's pretty good. I do want to uh, fill this in just a little bit, just to say, so, yep, the building comes up, we connect it to this and you know, that's, oops, that's the wrong block, right? And then this is all awesome and wonderful and I don't have to worry about Necessarily a weird transition. This is lowered, I guess. I mean, I could bring this level up, but I'm okay with where it's at. It just, yeah, it's just a little bit of a sunken garden. So now I've got some space to play. Of course, I have the same space I need to do over on the far side. So let's go ahead and get that done. And then, then we'll deal with de detailing and also the weird random blocks I've left floating. Because, you know, weird random blocks are cool. The moss is well, mostly in on this side. I've got a few areas here that, hey, I, I neglected. I'll right fill that rest of that in in a minute. But I was looking at this side, and I think what I want to do is... I was looking at, like, this little uh, sort of walkway, right? It was, you can tell, it was a path that came in and went back up. But I kind of like the idea of flooding this side as well. But I don't want to flood all the way out into that area, right? So I think what I'm going to do is let's continue this, this bridge here, okay? And I don't have bricks on me. That's okay. But what if I were to continue this walkway like this, right? So it comes all the way over to this one. And then I could flood this out. And it'll be just a little bit more water. And then we'll have this lovely, I don't know, 
just this, this sort of greenway surrounded by water. It's just going to look really cool. All right, so it looks like I've got some more diggy diggy to do and a lot of skulk to place. Oh, man, there has been so much diggy on this project. A lot more than I was expecting, but hey, I'm living in a hole. What more should you expect than diggy diggy? Yeah, you ever have a project like, oh, yeah, this is great. And then suddenly you look at it and realize I have just given myself a, a monumental task. Okay, then I guess we're doing the thing. That's kind of where I'm at now. It's like I was not uh, I was expecting a little bit of diggy right to get the moss in and that type of stuff. I was not expecting to be digging out this much of the city, but I think it's going to look good. And this is. Honestly, this is what I'm here for. I and mean, that's why I'm doing this project is to uncorrupt an ancient city. If you can even consider it an ancient city as being corrupted. Um, but yeah, we're we're gonna we're revitalizing it, and that means a lot of what's here needs to go away. The water is in here, and that is awesome. But as I'm looking across here, I think what I want to do is actually bring a bridge across similar to what's happening over on that side is let's bring a bridge across here in this gap and just run it across over this uh, pond i think that's gonna one break up a little bit of this blue but two uh, help with the uh, transportation here in the city so let's so if i come around here with some i don't have any brick I change that take some of this deep slate brick and come across, I don't know, how wide is that one? It's, the carpet is two, this one, it's actually like three wide. So let's just go ahead and run this across this way on both sides here, right? One, two, three, and then right here. Okay. So, yeah, bring that back. Oops, this goes uh, here-ish. Something like, something like that, right? Okay, I think this is going to work. And then I can continue my little uh, mossy. Do I want to mossy or do I want that to be wool? I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about that a little, but because that one's, that one is wool. I think, I think I might make that one moss just to match what's happening here. Okay, cool. This is... I think this is going to... Oops, that's not moss. But I think this is going to work out okay. Yeah, so we are definitely a little grindy, but I think this is starting to look like a, a good place to get... really get started um, as far as livening things up, right? We've got lots of water, lots of green space, starting to interact with some of the, the native roads here. So this is good. And then, yeah, if I take this area... And build a nice, uh, nice big custom tree here. And that's one of those places where I'm probably going to have to uh, find some form of embedded light, which would be cool. But yeah, I'm beginning to get a feel for how I want to handle some of the, some of the city, some of the roads, and that type of thing. Yeah, a little free cam action here. And yeah, as we look at this. This is looking nice. Now, I do need to get in and get some lights, right? Because if I turn the gamma override off, it's dark as heck, right? But, start coming in here with some moss carpet, some over glowstone. It's going to light this area up quite a bit. And then, as I start adding some form of lights and lanterns and other things, I think this is going to end up being nice and bright and cheerful. And that's... That's what I'm going for, bright and cheerful. Okay, gamma override is off, so you can kind of see where the lights are. Now, I think this is definitely lighting up the greenery a lot. And there's some areas, okay, the bridge is still dark, okay. And I've got some light underneath here on, on the bridges, which is good, because it's now adding some light into the water. So this is good, but there are places like over there, as you come along this side where this is all dark. We'll see what happens as I go, but this is, this is definitely a plus, okay? 
Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But we'll get some greenery, get some, some, some flowers and some trees and some other stuff that will... And if I can maybe, I just say, hide lanterns in it, but add lanterns to the trees as part of their decorations. Or candles, perhaps. It's de definitely going to help light this area up a lot. And I said part of what brings this area to life is all of the light. So I thought this end would be perfect for a custom tree. Now, I am not good at custom trees, but we're going to give it a shot. And here's well, the trunk and the main branches, okay? And, you know, scaffolding, which will not be part of the tree, but does help in the climbing of said tree. And what I'm going to go for is sort of a uh, cherry look without any cherry logs. So I may sprinkle some in. Uh, right now it's mostly spruce with some dark oak. You know details and accents and i may dump a couple of uh, cherry logs in there just to break that up anyway but the idea is right we'll throw in some throw in some cherries you know all the big bushiness right i know two leaves does not exactly make it big and bushy but we'll, we'll pull out something like this and you know i need to get out and i just need to get out more that's that's the problem no i need to uh We'll get, get more of these out, and I'll probably have to go get a lot more leaves. But I'm also adding some, add some stained glass to this. And part of that is going to be to just add a little, I don't know, a little texture difference, right? A little bit of, a little bit of something. And I'll we'll also try to add a few lights and things, right? So let me go ahead and see what I can do about making this tree all tree-ish. You know, and I've got I've got some fences that might help, right? I can pull stuff out this way, right, with the leaves. We'll we'll see how this goes. It's gonna be a thing. It's definitely gonna be well, some form of adventure. And now we have a bushy, fluffy, bright and shiny tree. So, you know, that's cool. Actually, here, let me uh, turn the gamma off so you can see it all in its fully lit glory. And, you know, it's it's okay. There are a couple of places, like, I could add some more leaves around under there, um, come around this side. It could probably use a few leaves on this side over here, but... Uh, heck, right there looks like I've got a, got a little bit more to go, but this is kind of nice, and when you end up over here coming up this way yeah I need to add a few more leaves around there but it's definitely looking it's looking good the trunk <laughs> the trunk needs help but let's just be honest the trunk definitely has some issues but hey it's uh all all things being equal it's actually really nice to have it there so let me work on some of the leaves and stuff and maybe try to make this tree look a little bit nicer but yeah, also, one thing I did, which actually was really cool, is I've threw in some oak leaves in a few places, like here. That when you look at, it adds just a little extra green. It's hard to see, which is the point. But it adds just a little bit of extra green through the, uh, all the pink cherry leaves and stuff. Which is kind of cool. It just adds a little extra depth and darkness and, um, yeah, texture to this. Plus, you know, there's some glass in a few places. This was actually a really cool uh, thing to do is I, what I would do is I'd take some of these glass blocks because the fence posts would connect to them and that helped bring some of the branches out a little bit so that they would connect two things, which is kind of fun. But obviously, I've got a big bare spot, a couple of big bare spots on this side of the tree. So, cool. Well, let me go take care of that and i think i don't know we'll see what else looks fun and exciting to do that's looking a little bit better the leaves are still probably wrong but added a little bit of the cherry log tucked in there which just gives it a little extra you know depth there's something at the core it's kind of fun but yeah as you walk around this way now it's looking not not too bad right Again, it could be a few more leaves around this side, but 
all in all, I think it's a reasonable tree. It's certainly not a bad effort for somebody who just doesn't do custom trees like ever. And if we look at, again, at it again with the lights normal, my gamma override off, yeah, this is definitely looking nice. Got a lot of light going on, which is sort of the idea. And it's it's feeling good. I think what I'll end up doing at some point is extending out the moss out this way. And I'll throw some petals and stuff, some cherry petals out here, just because they're the leaves are all blowing this way. So it makes sense that there'd be some petals down here. And I did add a few up here to the uh to the ground around the base of the tree. So that's it's good. It's step one on really adding all of the well, water. Um adding all of the plants and veggies and garden and stuff out to this thing. And that is all the time I have for today. Please take a moment, like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications. It's all good. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.